Hello and welcome back to Yanni's Hobby. In this video, we're going to be installing and reviewing pinned CS2 pedals. These are the raw aluminum version with titanium spindles and they're going on my mega tower. Got some blue pins here to go with my bike. These are super light, jeez. Like I said earlier, there's titanium spindles and aluminum platforms. The machine finish on these platforms is really sharp too. These pedals also have concave platforms, so the pins follow that shape. All right, so I'm gonna get these pins out, put the blue ones in. So I'm gonna put some thread locker on these pins. They're hex bolts, four millimeter. And I didn't have a socket for that, so I went and picked one up, fits perfectly. Um, I did break one of them. And uh, most of these go all the way through. So you can go in with some pliers if you twist it too much and just keep twisting it on through. These pins only need about two Newton meters and some thread locker to stay in. They're aluminum, so they're a little bit fragile. We're gonna put lube up these threads and get them on the bike. You don't wanna ruin your threads on your pedals or your cranks, so make sure you're paying close attention to which way you put those on. Get tighten, and that's it. Sweet. I ended up testing out these pedals without pins here in the middle. My last pedals did have pins in the middle, so I wanted to see what it was like without them. And then I installed them, went for a ride, and liked it a lot more with the two pins in the middle. As you can see, I have them in a diagonal pattern here. It works great. No slipping, no popping out of pedals. Here are my old Stamp 7s. As you can see, they have pins in the middle, but they're a little bit shorter to replicate that concave shape. These pedals also rotate on bushings, whereas the pinned have really nice bearings inside. That's gonna wrap it up for the video. Thanks for watching. Thank <laughs> you.